Hello, parents and family. Thank you so much for being here today and learning more about the FIU Honors College, all of our benefits, resources, and everything that comes along with the Honors College. Uh, before we get started, we wanted to hear a message from the one and only Honors College Dean, Dean Juan Carlos Espinosa. Uh, dean Espinosa, whenever you're ready to say a few words about the Honors College. Thank you, Enrique. The FIU Honors College is home to 2,700 smart, curious, open-minded students. We bring them together with top faculty and practitioners from a variety of fields for a unique curriculum that works alongside any major and transcends disciplines. Our students are dual citizens who belong to the Honors College and also belong to their major department. They get the best of both worlds, making their educational experience at FIU worlds ahead. Our main task is to help students develop the intellectual and vocational tools that they will need to succeed at FIU and beyond. Our students understand that life is not a major, but that it is interdisciplinary, complex, sometimes messy, and a group project that is always in flux. We want them to be ready to compete in a rapidly morphing world where they must be agile, flexible, and adaptable if they are to thrive. We are dedicated to scholarship, service, creativity, leadership in the arts. That is why we are the center of undergraduate academic excellence at FIU. Okay, everyone, so now just a quick overview of the Honors College, and you can always get more information by emailing us. Um, so some benefits of joining the Honors College for your students to get priority registration when selecting classes, exclusive Honors College scholarships only for Honors students, access to Parkview Hall, our Honors College only residence hall, extended library hours, uh, they get a medallion, tassel, and recognition during their graduation ceremony, and access to Honors study abroad. Um, some opportunities of the Honors College, they get access to top research faculty and industry experts through our Honors College courses, um, early assurance programs like our Herbert Wertheim College of Medicine, early assurance programs and more, um, help with pre-professional tracks through our curriculum, whether they're pre-med or pre-law, um, career center access. We, so we have a career center just for honor students where we help them with resumes, applying for jobs just for honor students. Our edge lab, which is our makerspace, we have two of them um, where they can create whatever comes to their mind with our 3D printers and uh, power tools and specialized equipment and access to our hearts programs or arts related programs. Um, some uh, requirements for graduating with honors, they have to take one honor seminar per semester and 20 credit hours of honors, complete bachelor's degree requirements for their major, have a B average in honors, a 3.2 cumulative FIU GPA and complete their honors college portfolio when they graduate uh, before they graduate um, in their senior year. Okay, everybody. So now we're going to go into honors resources. Uh, so we have a lot of different parts of honors that do a lot of very important things. Uh, but first off, we're going to start off by introducing Alan Varela, who is part of the honors research team. He's in charge of honors research. He's a senior, co senior coordinator of undergraduate research here at the honors college. And you can email him at al, A-L Varel, V-A-R-E-L at FIU.edu. But before we let Alan um, talk about research at honors, I'm going to ask him a trivia question. So Alan, um, which one of these is true? A, Arch cannot satisfy one honors upper division requirement. B, Arch and honors cannot connect students with research mentors. Or C, URFIU is the largest multidisciplinary research conference at FIU. D, C. Perfect. You got it, Alan. Incredible. So now I'll let you go ahead and just talk about research at honors. Research at Honors is where research is everywhere, and you are given the opportunity to work with an FIU professor, whether it be uh, their research or your own. And you have the opportunity to where it is original research, whether it be your own or with the professor. And as Enrique mentioned earlier, you will get to have the opportunity to present at URFIU, which is the largest multidisciplinary research conference because research is everywhere and it's open to all disciplines. And I hope you can say it with me that research is everywhere. And on top of that, you get to earn credit through the Honors College and get a designation on your transcript that you have conducted honors research through the ARCH program. Next up, we have Luli Scheinblum. Luli is our senior coordinator of Study Away and Arts programs. Study Away is our study domestic and study um, abroad programs. Her email is located right down there on the screen. Uh, but before we hear a little bit more, a uh, question for Luli, which of the following is true? A, honors has six different Study Away programs. B, you cannot earn honors credit in Study Away. Or C, HEARTS stands for Honors Education in the Arts. C. <laughs> Incredible. Thank you so much, Luli. Uh, whenever you're ready, you can tell us a little bit more about Study Away and HEARTS. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, hi, honors parents. In fact, we have 
eight wonderful study abroad programs that I really hope your kids will be able to take advantage of. They take an on-campus class in spring with the same cohort of students and faculty they will be traveling in summer and that way they get to know each other in advance and get to learn about the places they'll be going to. So when they arrive, they're totally ready to hit the ground running. Um, on top of that, these programs do fulfill their six honors credit requirements for the year with the added perk of being an absolute resume magnet. It's the best experience uh, students will ever have in their college years. That's stated not by me, but by all students who ever went on one. So I really hope yours can have that too. 2022 registration opens now in fall. Uh, we're also launching Study USA, our domestic shorter version of Study Abroad. We'll have three programs to start with, and we're super excited about that too. As for hearts, our students get free or very discounted tickets to arts and culture events around Miami, plays, uh, concerts, museums, galleries, we have clubs, uh, movies, you name it, and they love it. So hope to see you around and thank you for letting us take care of your kids. Next up, we have Lily Solorzano. Lily is our Senior Director of Student Services. We're going to be speaking about scholarships and careers with Lily. Her email is right there on the screen. Uh, but first, quick question for Lily. Uh, which of the following is true? A, honor scholarships are only for transfer students. B, honors has its own career services just for honor students. Or C, honors does not have specialized advisors just for honors. Enrique, that would be B, honors has its own career services. Incredible. Thank you so much, Lily. And whenever you're ready, you can take it away with some more information on scholarships and careers. Yes. So information about our scholarships. All of our students have opportunities to apply for scholarships at different points in their career with us. As a new student, there is a plethora of scholarships they can apply for either as freshmen or transfers. Those scholarships are open uh, until the middle of the summer. And once they are students at FIU, we offer scholarships for every fall semester thereafter. Uh, after that, um, we also have lots of opportunities for students to get assistance in our office. Each FIU Honors College student will have their own Honors College advisor that will help them navigate all of their professional and career development. Uh, and in addition to that, we have a career service office that will help provide our students with opportunities for internships and job placement. Um, we're always here to help throughout the student's journey throughout their whole time with us. Last but not least, we have myself, Enrique Roselle. I am the student program coordinator here at the Honors College, and we're going to be talking about engagement and community. My email is right down there on the screen. Um, so here at the Honors College, we really pride ourselves in creating a space where students can grow as a human being, grow as a professional, learn more about themselves, and really learn that life is a lot more than just a major, which is a really big part of the Honors College. So uh, through this, we have virtual and in-person events happening throughout all the semesters, throughout their entire time at the Honors College to help them grow as a human being, grow as a professional, uh, meet other students, create that community within the Honors College. Um, we have 18 different service-related or pre-professional clubs to join, like our pre med club stitch our pre-law club path or even our green campus initiative that is focusing on limit eliminating uh, single-use plastic waste on campus we have whatever you can imagine we have it here at the honors college uh, we're always providing students with volunteer opportunities around FIU in Miami where they can get civically engaged with the community. Uh, we connect them with alumni in different career fields. So whatever your student may be interested in, I'm sure we have an alumni who's doing some incredible things in that field. And we're constantly connecting students with those opportunities. And we pride ourselves in creating an unforgettable um, environment with unforgettable friendships and memories for your students. Uh, but if you want to contact us, feel free to email us at honors at FIU.edu visit our website at honors.fiu.edu, visit our Instagram at FIU Honors, or check out our podcast, More Than a Major, on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, uh, where if you really want to get to know what it really is like being an honors student um, here on campus. Uh, but besides that, thank you all so much for listening and have a good rest of your day.